Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Happy New Year! Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I already regret this. And I know I'm kind of late, but I still wanted to do this because this is actually the first video of the year. And I wanted to hype myself up. Anyways, guys, it's the new year. Has it been good so far for you? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So yeah, first video of the year, I'm going to unbox some lucky bags. So lucky bags in the new year is kind of a big thing in Japan. It's kind of similar to Black Friday. Companies get to sell their leftover stuff and we get them for really cheap. And everyone goes crazy. I buy lucky bags every single year, but this year I bought something a little bit different. This year, I decided to try out some art boxes. So here I've got three art boxes. They're all mystery boxes, so I'm not sure what's inside. And apparently they're like worth like a thousand dollars. By the way, right here, it says tiger since it's the year of the tiger. So three art boxes. And over here, we have a Toys R Us lucky bag. You guys know me, I love unboxing toys. And you guys really liked my Toys R Us shopping spree. So I really wanted to unbox this on this channel for you guys. So yeah, um, I think we're ready. Let's just jump right in. Unboxing some lucky bags. Let's get started. Okay, so first off, I want to unbox my art boxes. I actually got three. Here's one, and it's like so heavy. Like, it looks kind of small, but it's like packed in there. And these two are from a different company. So I want to start off with this box. Let me put these aside. And the reveal. Okay. So here's the bag, and like everything's inside the box. Apparently, it's supposed to be inside here, but this is just like a bag. Okay, what do we have here? So first, ooh, acrylic. So we have some canvas that's shaped in a triangle. Interesting. I've never used like a triangle canvas before. Hmm, what can I do with them? And here, we've got 24 colors acrylic set. <gasps> this is nice. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at this. And here's the other set. Oh my gosh, this is a really nice set of acrylic paint. I'm already really happy, guys. And here, here we've got some inks, 12 inks. And I'm guessing they're all different colors. So that's crimson, orange, ooh, nice green, black. I want to like unbox every single color. Violet, green, yellow, brown, white, burnt sienna, and blue. Wow, this is so pretty. I've actually never made it into a video, but last year I went to make my own glass pen. I literally made my glass pen. I may make it into a video in the future, but I've always, always wanted to make like a drawing using my glass pen. And I think this is perfect. There's going to be so many stuff that I can make with these. I love this. And here's my acrylic. Wow, I'm actually already satisfied. But we have more. Next up, we've got a watercolor stick. Hmm, I've never used this before. Oh, the packaging is so pretty. So it kind of looks like, wait, how do you open this? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There you go. So it kind of looks like crayons, but apparently you can blend it out using like water and make like watercolor drawings. I wanna try. So here we've got some watercolor paper. It works with watercolor, ink, pencil, and pastels. Each sheet is like super thick and it's like stuck onto each other. Apparently when you're done with the first page, you need to cut it out using a cutter. Super high quality paper. I've never seen anything like this before. I thought this was like a normal sketchbook. I wanted to like test these out, but this is like too precious to use right now. So here's another sketchbook. This is still like really nice paper. I thought it was like a kid's sketchbook, but it's not. There's only 20 sheets in here. Oh, the first page is a coloring book. That's so cute. These pages are like too precious for me to use. I just want to like test these out. 
Let me check out this last sketchbook. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So this one has 110 pages and it's like a normal sketchbook. So yeah, let's try these out using this sketchbook. So I'm guessing I need to fill this up with water. So BRB. So here I filled it up with water and let's test these out. Maybe like light blue. I mean, it kind of feels like normal crayons, but when I blend it out with water, interesting. It does kind of like melt, but the line's still like there. Blend, blend, blend. Let me try like a darker color. Ooh, I feel like the darker colors work better. This is so interesting. I mean, this paper isn't for watercolor, and I'm just like testing it out, but hmm, I think I could do a lot of stuff with this. Ooh, it's called the Midnight Mix, so that's why there's so many like blues. I think I need to do a little bit more research and kind of play with it a little bit more, but it's definitely like a new addition and I just can't wait to make more stuff with this. These are all like really good quality art stuff. This is called a Daniel Smith Watercolor Prima Tech set. Oh, this is such a cute set. Look at how small they are. So many watercolor stuff today. I mean, it may be a sign for me to start watercoloring. It's so smooth and nice. Yeah, I definitely need to research more about watercolors. And next up, we've got pixie powder. <gasps> Each bottle is $8. Okay, so this is basically shimmery powder. And you can kind of like mix it in paint. <gasps> And you can basically like mix it into paint and into like watercolor and stuff. That is super gold. What I love about these like lucky boxes and mystery boxes is that you get all these stuff that you've never seen before. So this one is called Aqua Lagoon Gold and Spear Mint. I'm definitely going to use these. I have like so many ideas in mind already. Next up, we've got some really big liquid text acrylic. We've got yellow, green, blue, and red, which is like a really nice combination. I use paint all the time. Not only can you like paint with them, you could kind of make like streaks and textures with them. So again, there's so many things I can do with this. Look, it's a flower. Anyways, here we've got the last item. And it's a paper palette. I actually use this all the time. I think I was out of them. So it's like the perfect timing. I needed them. There's a hole right here for you to hold. It's basically a palette, but it's made with paper. So you can just like peel it off and throw it away. Wow, for $120, that was a lot of art supplies. So for my first bag, I've got some acrylic, canvas, sketchbooks, liquid text, inks, watercolors, shimmery powders, and a paper palette. All super great quality, so, so satisfied. I can't wait to make new art with these. And let's unbox our second box. So this one is called the Scrapbook Lucky Box. By the way, this company had a Copic marker box and I really, really wanted it. So I was like at my computer the whole day and then it just like went sold out in an instant and I couldn't get it. So instead, I got the scrapbook box. Okay, so the reveal. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Wow, there's actually a lot inside here. And this box costs 
$65. First off, what's in the bag? Oh, a calendar. It's a flower calendar. <laughs> nice. Okay, really pretty. And next, I really like how they like package everything. It's so cute. Ooh, colored paper. And like every color that you need. Definitely perfect for scrapbooks. Next up, we've got a sketchbook. Made in Italy, definitely good quality. It looks kind of like a death note. <laughs> I mean, if I just like write death note right here, it will look exactly like a death note. Okay, so one death note and a scrapbook. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I love how thick these papers are. There's only like eight pages. Okay, let me just like tear this page off. And this makes me really happy. I wanna like make a scrapbook for my puppy. You guys know her, her name's Lobby. And I thought it would be like super cute to make her scrapbook. I've never really been into making scrapbooks. So I guess it's like another new challenge for me that I could do this year. We've actually got some more scrapbooks and more and more. Wow, this is definitely a scrapbook lucky box. I got five scrapbooks in total. That's a lot of scrapbooks. We've also got a manga liner. Hmm. So like a pen for manga and a glue stick and another glue stick. Um, I mean, this is still a lot of stuff, but it's definitely not like 100% what I thought I was gonna get. I mean, I honestly don't need this many scrapbooks. So I'm probably going to give it away or come up with something because I don't want them to go to a waste. So yeah, this was the scrapbook box. And let's move on to our final art box. And this is the final art box for the day. So this was the cheapest one. I think it was about like $20. And the reveal. Okay, so first off, but we got a calendar and a sketchbook. I'm guessing they put it inside like every single box. So yeah, we've got two of these. And inside, we got, oh, this is so cute. There's a lot of different kind of kits inside. So here, we've got like a tote bag. We can definitely paint onto this, dye it, and customize it. I love customizing things. So a tote bag, and we've got this wooden doll. What do you call this again? You know those wooden dolls? That you can like open it, and it gets like smaller and smaller. So here's two, three, there's still some inside. <laughs> Four. And five. Okay, that was the last one. Ooh, this is going to be like a really fun project. Let me put this back. Yeah, I'm going to have a really fun time painting this. Ooh, another one. About well, $20 for all of this is really not that bad. So we've got the egg version. <gasps> this is so cute. So we've got a tiny egg. So this one has three, three eggs. How should I paint them? That is the question. So two wood dolls to paint on. And lastly, we've got a set of acrylic paint. Ooh. So this is the Amsterdam Expert Acrylic six colors. Wow, I'm amazed. I mean, for all of this for $20, that's a really great deal. So the first box, I was super happy. Second box, I mean, it was okay, not my favorite. And I'm super satisfied for my third box. Yay, I'm so happy, guys. And wait, we're not done yet. Lastly, I want to unbox this Toys R Us lucky bag with you guys. Basically, it's a mystery box. I don't know what's inside. And Toys R Us lucky bag is kind of like a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I'm like super happy. Sometimes I'm not too familiar with the characters. But don't worry, even if I don't like fully like it, I am definitely going to give it away to kids who would really want it. So, let's see what's inside. Oh well, this is so big. I've never seen this one before, but it's basically a board game. And this is called the Happiance, Happy Science Girls Toy. So it's like a board game for girls. And I know it's like definitely not for me. Um, I need to have friends to play this. 
And it's going to be really hard to explain this in English, so I may unbox this on my Japanese channel. We'll see. Science toy. Okay, next, here we've got a jewel decado. Oh, I actually love this. I felt sponsored by them before, and I remember I had a really fun time. Let me bring you guys close up. So inside we've got this like stapler thing and some blings. So we open it like that, set inside the bling and close. Wrap it around and that's basically it. So you can use it like a stapler like this and you can also open it up and stick it on like so. So it's really like a stapler. And you can basically use this to decorate anything. For example, here's my phone case. And you could kind of like staple it on like so. Ooh, it actually like sticks on really nicely. And again. You can basically kind of like keep on sticking them on. And honestly, it's just so fun. That's so pretty. But I really like decorating my hair with this. Yes, you can decorate your hair. So it's really easy. You get like a strand of hair and click. Ah. <laughs> See how fun this is? Maybe a little on this side. How do I look? So yeah, it's so, so fun. So this is like a really fun DIY toy. Next up, we got... Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Do you guys know what Precure is? It's like a Precure blow up balloon thing. But like, I don't want to blow this up because I know this isn't for me. I'm sure there's someone else who's going to enjoy this a hundred times more than I will. So I'm going to put this aside and put it in my donation bin. And next up, we've got... I'm sorry, I actually don't know what this is. But I'm guessing it's some kind of like a character. It says it's kind of like a police girl. You can change costumes with this. And like the wings flap open. They're all just like super creative. But yeah, this is again not for me. So I'm going to put it aside into the donation bin. And lastly, we've got some LOL surprises. I used to like collect them. So I actually have like a whole big bin of LOL surprises. So let's see what's inside. So I got the fuzzy pet and the fluffy pet. Let's start off with this one. Ooh, okay. And this is the characters list. Oh, they're so cute. Let's see what I got. Three, two, one. You still can't tell which one it is. And you gotta like peel it off. And it's like so satisfying just like peeling off the costume. Okay, so it has pink hair, black body. Ta -da. So she is Doggy Stardust and she's a rare. So, I mean, that's a nice surprise. And inside we've got a hair accessory, some clothes, a hairbrush, drink bottle, a collar, more accessories, and like super shiny shorts. Aww, so cute. And the fun part, you can actually put water inside here and make it into like a water globe. So it'll look something like this. One more, the fuzzy pets. It looks like a shampoo bottle. So here is the list. And here we have our fuzzy pet. She's covered with fur and you need to wash it off with water. A handle, some accessory parts, a bottle. Lastly, it comes with kinetic sand and you can take out like the items inside. So here's some glasses and I think that's it. Let me put this back. And I'm quickly gonna go get some water. I'm going to pour the water inside and put her into the bathtub. How does it feel? I'm just gonna soak it up for a while and like gently give her a massage. Ooh, it's got bunny ears. And here we have Bunny Champ. That is so adorable. And guys, I'm done unboxing my lucky bags. 
Okay, so how to customize. I'm kind of thinking Totoro. What do you guys think? So I'm not going to be just painting. I'm actually going to use some clay to mold stuff. I added some clay because I wanted to make it look a little bit more plump to make it look more like Totoro. And I also wanted to add the ears and like a bump for the nose. Um, I don't play with clay too much, but I really hope I could do more this year because it's one of my favorite activities. After like a few hours, this is how it turned out. Now that it's all dry, it's time to start painting. I decided to use my new supplies that I just got in my art box. And here we go. By the way, thank you guys so much for 900,000 subscribers. It's been a long journey and I just can't wait to reach 1 million subscribers. My goal for this year, or I have to say my first goal for this year, is to reach 1 million subscribers. My second goal is to reach 2 million subscribers. I mean, I'm probably going to reach 1 million subscribers pretty soon, and I want like a goal that is pretty high to kind of like challenge myself. But I'm just so grateful that you guys are all here for me. My other goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers for my Instagram and Twitter, so definitely check them out if you haven't yet. I'm not even like halfway there yet, so definitely, definitely check them out. I have a lot of cute pictures of Lobby and some cosplays and stuff. Okay, so I am done with my first doll. It's still kind of wet, so I don't want to like push it in, but it looks something like this. So what to do with my second doll? I think I'm going to end it here for today, but hopefully I can continue this a different day. Oh my gosh, I'm just having so much fun with all my new supplies. And I love my new paint too. Like, it's my first time using them. They're just so much better than the ones that I'm currently using. I mean, it's smooth. It's opaque. I'm just really having so much fun. So, I think that's it for today. Okay, so I am done, and that was a lot of stuff. I will be using my art supplies in my future videos, and I will be donating stuff that I will not use. So hopefully everyone's happy. So thank you guys so so much for watching, and please comment below if you guys see like unboxing videos. I want to upload more on this channel this year, so please stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!